But uh, right now, let's check in with this week's news. Now, in the United States, we have an annual tradition called the State of the Union Address, as in, the state of our union is strong. If there would be a State of the European Union Address, it would have to be, the state of our union is strange. European unity is under attack. Ukraine, eh, Russia, no, as usual, it's the Europeans themselves. Yes, Ukraine is an issue. Last week, France and Germany, the backbone of the EU, confronted Russia's Vladimir Putin in a show of diplomatic force with the threat of more sanctions. But then there was the new left-wing government in Greece, making friends with Russia and good old Vlad, rejecting sanctions against Russia. Greece, in this case, is not being aligned with the backbone of Europe, more like the appendix. The appendix, as in, maybe we could live without it. Mostly it just sits there not adding value. You only notice it when it flares up, causing incredible pain and shutting down all other functions, demanding to be surgically removed in a procedure called the Grexit. If anything, if the EU has been unified in anything this past week, it has been in taking meetings with new Greek leaders. The no-tie, loose-belt, new Greek leader is apparently making a statement that belt tightening is over. Or is it more like the statement, I can't afford a tie? Italian Prime Minister Matteo Renzi met with Alex Tsipras and presented him with a tie saying, you can put this on when the economy has recovered. Tsipras then asked, how do I tie a tie? The Germans responded like this. Maybe Alex Tsipras just needs a friend. He met with European Central Bank Chairman Mario Draghi, Super Mario, and he may have found a friend in EU Commission President Jean-Claude Juncker. Oh, look at him holding hands. Or was it something else? Take a look at the video. Yes, it's let's be friends, and here's European style kissing and friends and holding hands. Give me your hand, give me your hand. Yeah, there we go. If you analyze, it's less of let's be friends and more like come along, little boy. All in all, I think we haven't seen such an obvious statement of status shifting since Obama bowed to the Japanese emperor or since Obama bowed to the Saudi king or for that matter, since George W. Bush tongue-kissed the Saudi king. In essence, meet the new boss, same as the old boss. But Tsipras isn't the only Greek diplomat doing the rounds this week. And that brings us to good news, bad news. This week, the N-word in the EU. Greece's finance minister is uh, Yanis, Yanis Paroufakis, and this week he met with German Finance Minister Wolfgang Schäuble. Good news, Varoufakis said, we had our differences, but we agreed to disagree. Bad news, Schäuble said, nein, we didn't even agree on that much. The good news, Varoufakis praised Wolfgang Schäuble as an architect, the architect of the Eurozone. Bad news, Schäuble has more of a reputation as a Dr. Strangelove. Good news, Giannis, it doesn't look much better. Would you buy a used car from this man? I did a Google search for evil grin and nothing came close to that photo. Loki from, no, uh, this one, evil, no, no, this, even Bart Simpson, not quite. Then I put my finger on it. Giannis Varoufakis looks like the Grinch. And indeed, most Germans think this Greek finance minister is out to steal Christmas. Is there anything that Germany and Greece can agree on? The good news, maybe. Nazis. Wait, hear me out. It's not what you think. The bad news, all right, there's an unofficial rule online. If you use the word Nazi in your post, yeah, your entire comments and argument has to be thrown out. For example, Obamacare is the worst abuse of government power since the Nazis. Yeah, sorry, I can no longer take you seriously. But if there are two parties both using the N-word, hmm, the good news, Yanis Varoufakis admitted 
Greece may have a Nazi problem. Bad news, Greece's third largest party is now the far-right Golden Dawn, which many Greeks view as a bunch of Nazis. At least, that's according to our Greek correspondent, Lambros Fisfis from Athens. Golden Dawn, which is uh, a Nazi party. But I would call them far right, or no, 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 they, they're not. They call them. There you have it. The bad news: Germany is now dealing with a similar group, Pegida, the anti-Islam, anti-immigrant group, which is more and more closely aligned with the neo-Nazis. So the only good news: Schäuble did apparently agree on that point. At least they agreed on something. The enemy of my enemy is my friend, and the state of European unity is strong.